All right, guys, today we're checking out the Vivor 7x14 Mini Metal Lathe. Lathe. You can see here some of the specifications of the lathe right here. It is powered by a standard electrical connection right here in the back here, the motors in here. You have plastic gears in this model. You can buy them with metal gears. Now let's go over some of the pieces of this mini metal lathe. I will tell you, this is basically just a scaled down version of a professional full size. It's really cool for hobbyists and at a very fair price. I'll have a link to this product right down below if you're interested in checking that out. Now, first off, let's go through the parts. First off, over here, you have something called the headstock right here. This is where the motor is and on the side here is where the gears are located. You can replace those gears with metal gears if you like. They come with plastic but that's fine. This is the auto stop button right here or the emergency stop button I should say. You can open it up like this to uh, manually operate it but if you close it down, hit that button, it will stop the machine in an emergency. You have your speed control right here. It goes from zero all the way up to I think 2500 RPM. You have reverse no speed. And down right now here. let's move over here. Here's the chuck. You can see this is pretty significant. It does come with a chuck tool right here. This is how you open up these jaws just by spinning that. You'll see it has a spring on it. It's because they don't want people leaving that in there and turn it on. You would actually do a lot of damage. You can see those jaws tightening down. Let me put a piece of aluminum in there so you can see how that works real quick. You kind of have to go like this then put your material in. It will center because they all come in at the same time. It's really nicely done. It's almost like a, um, a chuck for a drill. You see those sides come in all at the same time. So that holds the piece. And you might have to center it a little bit, but that's basically the deal with the chuck. Now over here, you have the tool post. This is actually what does the cutting. You can see I've got a cutting tool in there right now. Let me Let me see if I can move that back for you. There's the cutting bit, and you only cut with this little edge right here. Obviously, the angle it's in uh, would cut like on this face of the material, but I'll spin that around later to show you how you use that. That's the tool post. Over here, you have the compound rest right here, and in the back, you have the tail stock. This center pin right here will go right in the center of that aluminum, so it will keep it nice and stable. So I can move that forward. Now, the carriage here, or the size of the bed here, is 14 inches on this model. As I said, it's 14 wide, so you can you can handle a piece of metal that goes from here down to here, 14 inches, and it's seven inches wide. At seven inches, it will hit this. So obviously, seven is three and a half um, on this side, three and a half on this side, and seven's right in the middle. So that's the deal with that. Over here, you have the adjuster to move the carriage along. If you want to lock it in on the feed shaft, you just lock that down like this, and it will actually move the shaft along. I'll show you how to do that later. Here's the adjustments for this. You can see micro adjustments nice and smooth in, out, and also to move the post left and right. You can use this one right here. I'll demonstrate that to you in a second. Now, on the tailstock over here... Now on the tailstock over here, you lock it and unlock it with this right here. You can lock it in so it won't move. And then you'll, I might have to adjust that a little bit. You can see it pulls up this cam. And then you can adjust this in and out like that and you lock it in. Now this particular model also comes with an LED light. That's not working right now, it's magnetic. Really convenient just so you can work on your, whatever material you're working on, you can see really well. Here's a safety cover right here. But in, an, in a nutshell, that is the Vivor 7 by 14 inch metal lathe. Now let me show you how to use it. So let me install a metal cutting bit. You can see this edge is a little beat up. Uh, it's a carbide edge. Here's a piece of aluminum stock I have in here. So what you do is you take this, put it in there, estimate about where that tip, this is the cutting edge right here. This tip will contact your material, give or take. I'm gonna lock it down right around there. You get an Allen key like this. And then tighten down the screws so it's nice and tight in there. Let's make sure we're okay. Yeah, we're good. You can see this 
is moving a little bit, any movement is no good. It means your cut's not going to be consistent all the way through. So you can see I can move it in and out, and I can also move it left and right. But let's get this thing going here a little bit and see what we got, okay? So we're gonna start it over here, come over here. We're gonna hit the start button. And we're gonna cut forward. So you can see I can adjust the speed of the chuck like that. You can see the carriage drive here is spinning. I'm not locked in, but I'll show you what happens when you lock it in. You just go like this. And you can see it will move along. Okay, so let's move it down here to our material. Come in real close over here. That's what I want you to see. You see, we're not making any contact with that right now. So with this handle right down here, look down here. I'm gonna bring in my cutter. I'm gonna check it out. Let's go a little tighter. Now I'm gonna make contact with my material any second now. One more in. This will be a cut. This will be a cut now. Let's go a little more. Here's a cut. Okay, come on out over top so you can really see it. Now I'm doing this by hand, okay? You can see that aluminum's coming off and we're reducing the side of the material. Let's back, at, let's back out, let's turn it off. We'll clear all this out. You can see this came off. Look how nice that looks right there. So we've reduced the diameter of that piece of material. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you. Let's go this way. Let's start it up. I'm gonna have it do it by itself. Here we go, and let's open this up. Okay, I'm gonna hit this right down here. It'll engage with that, and now it's gonna move over here automatically by itself. You see it moving closer? It's slow, but it'll get there. Let me move it in a little bit. Actually, let's wait for it. I'm gonna speed it up. Good making a small cut. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Ready, here we go. Now it's cutting by itself. So the other thing about this Vivor lathe is it actually comes with a few pieces right here. You can see this is an oiler. Here's the key to adjust the chuck. Uh, there's another few uh, chuck bits right here. You can change them for some reason. You have some metal shims and some gears, some wrenches. So you get a few tools so you can actually adjust and operate the machine. Now, I also wanna say, I showed you how to use the carriage here automatically to automatically cut a piece of material, but you can actually set this up to cut threads on a bolt. And you do that by adjusting, you have to look at this indicator tab over here, change your gears, that will set the speed of the carriage with the speed of the chuck so that you can actually thread it. Now that's pretty complicated, but it can be done on this machine. Also, I laid the outside of the material, but you can also lay the inside of the material right here. You can cut into there if you need a larger space in there, anything like that. So you have lots of flexibility with this machine, just as you would a full-size metal lathe. Pretty cool for the price. It can't be beat. It worked great for me. I had a small little project that I needed it for. Worked perfect for that. Overall, I'd say for the price, the quality of this, oh, I should mention that the weight of it is unbelievable. It's actually got cast iron down here. Now, you might ask, why is it so heavy? And that's because you can't have any distortion in this uh, machine. You actually need it to be really precise so you can get precision cuts. So it is very heavy, I will tell you that. It comes in a wood crate when you get it, and the UPS guy is gonna be huffing and puffing by the time it gets to your door. But overall, love the Vivor machines. There's a few different options. This is the seven by 14. I think they go up to a like a, a 14 by 32, which means you basically get a stock that goes further back here. Uh, but if you're working on smaller pieces, this is perfect. If you wanna learn more about this machine, there's actually a link down below. Make sure you check that out. And with that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and check out some other content on this channel. See you later, buddy.